Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to wrap a present. And we're not talking just any wrapping, we're talking these crisp, clean, perfect little edges that will make everyone jealous. Of course, you can do this with any wrapping paper, but I really love this plain butcher block paper. You can find it at a ton of stores, and you can also find it at the dollar store, which is a really great find. I think that it is just so classy and clean and you can really dress it up with different kinds of ribbon, different kinds of accessories. It can be perfect for any occasion. But today we're going to start with wrapping the present itself. Let's get started. To get started, I have already trimmed my piece of wrapping paper to match the size of my gift box here. So I'm going to start about with the gift box in the middle of my piece of paper. Always make sure you have enough paper to wrap both sides of your present as well as to be able to cover the edges once your present is going. So I'm going to take this a little more than halfway because if you bring it exactly halfway, your middle seam could get moved a little bit. So we're gonna go just a little bit past halfway and I'm gonna take a small piece of tape and tape that paper to the box. I like to pull the box a little bit toward myself to really give a little bit of tension on that paper and make sure it's completely flat and smooth. Hi Mina. Then you're gonna bring the other side of the gift wrap up across the box and pull it tight. Here, you're gonna find about the middle of your present. You're gonna mark it, pull the paper back up, and crease that spot. Now you can either trim this paper or wrap with the paper inside. It doesn't matter either way. But here we have a crisp line marking the middle of our present, which is gonna be that fancy, perfect seam across the back of your box. Take another small piece of tape and hold that there. Next, we're gonna start with one side of your box and just do a quick fold over here. So you're gonna pull the top down and crease it with your finger or your nail along the edge and give that a crisp seam here. Fold that in again and give that another quick little crease in the corner there. We do the same thing on the other side. Fold the top down until it meets the side like this. Crease this to create a little triangle. Then fold that triangle in to the bottom and crease this piece. So you're left with this little flap. But we're not gonna finish this side yet because we're gonna do the top. So here, you're gonna do the same thing. Fold down the top, crease one side. Make sure you get a good, sharp crease. I'm gonna go over and do the other side. If you want, you can take a little piece of tape and just secure this little flappy seam right here so it doesn't get in your way and that can help you get tighter edges as well. So here, you're going to take one side, fold it over, and again, another sharp crease. We can take a little piece of tape to secure that to make things easy on you. And we're gonna do the other side. Fold that flap, that little triangle that we made earlier. Again, everything is about those really tight creases and corners and everything being very, very smooth. So we're gonna tape that side down too. And here's the difference between just any present wrapping and making your present look super professional. Here, you could take your edge over and tape your box shut and it would look like this. However, what we're gonna do is take your thumb at the place where your first triangle meets your top part here and your other triangle meets your top part here and use your thumb as a guide. These two points aren't always going to be completely straight across from each other. Sometimes, depending on how long your paper is, one side will be longer than the other, which is why you don't want to just make a straight crease. You really want to use your thumb as a guide and your thumb as a guide 
and fold right where your thumbs were. Then when you fold that flap down, your edges will line up. Use a piece of tape and secure both of those edges. And that gives you that super clean, straight, everything looks like it's perfectly folded together and your present just gets a little bit extra oomph. We're gonna go back to that other side, open it back up and we're gonna go in. You know what, I'm gonna take a little bit of this off because see how this is kind of tucked in there since I just folded it over. I'm gonna take my scissors and trim that little corner just so it doesn't get too weird in there. So we're gonna take our middle, fold it down, give it a piece of tape, take your right side, fold it over, and your second side can be a little tricky because remember, we just kind of did a rough fold while it was still kind of laying on the floor so that we could stand it on its end. So you might need to clean up some of these edges. So I needed to refold this a little bit to make it really smooth and nice now that the present has some more of that tension that we talked about. Tape that and we're gonna go to the other side, recrease the other side, fold it over and give it another little piece of tape. Here's where we're gonna do our magic again. We're gonna make sure our top is nice and creased. See how this side is a little bit shorter than it was on the other side. So here I'm going to grab one side with one finger, the other side, mark it with the other finger, and fold where that guide was. If for some reason they don't line up, just go back in and scoot your folds just a little bit. You don't have to make big changes. Sometimes you just need some little tweaks. We'll take that edge, take the other edge, and now your present looks perfectly and professionally wrapped. All of the edges are nice and folded, very angular, symmetrical, and pretty. All you need is a bow.